the museum has been closed, I believe, for for more than 18 months, more than 18 months. Um, and so I'm very, very happy that we are here today to not only mark the 20th anniversary of the Museum of Belize, but also the re-emergence, the reopening, the reawakening, the rebirth. 20 years ago, the Museum of Belize opened its door after being transformed from Her Majesty's prison to the country's primary museum. Tens of thousands of persons have visited the museum since the very start on February 5, 2002. But like everything else in the past two years, the museum's doors were shut closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But not anymore. Those doors have been reopened with a spectacular exhibition of Pen Cayetano's pieces. And over the weekend, curator Ilona Smith shared exciting news. Today marks not just the museum's reopening, but also its 20th anniversary. When I first started working at the museum, I envisioned the day when the arts would take over the institution. Throughout my time at Niche, I have worked tirelessly to expand the museum's visual arts program. While we had some success with small, scales, small scale exhibits, they never seemed to do the artists or their work justice. Recently, I presented at the Heritage Education Network Belize a talk on ensuring that artists have the freedom and space to create. Museums are just one of these spaces in which we need artists to take up space. In the past, this idea was frequently dismissed or I was urged to dream smaller or be more realistic. Today, however, I'm pleased to announce that our interim president, our board at Niche, and Minister Francis Fonseca are in full support of the museum as it starts its journey in art documentation, education, and preservation in full force. It is no coincidence that the 20th anniversary coincides with the debut of more than 80 paintings by Belizean artist Pen Caetano. This collection was created in Germany between 1990 and 2010 and represents an important milestone for both Penn and the museum. Culture Minister Francis Fonseca underscored the importance of the museum, saying that museums are ever increasing present in the social sphere. Museums play a critical role in preserving and promoting local culture. Artifact preservation and documentation provide for culture to be recorded and shared from generation to generation. Museums reflect and shape our society. They provide an insight into the history of our society and help us to build bridges and tear down walls. Museums provide a sense of community and celebrate our collective heritage. Museums today are also spaces of interaction participation and engagement. We need to, of course, use technology to make our museums more accessible. And of course, museums are classrooms, inspiring and educating the future. Museums bring history to life, but also shine a light on the present and the future. And the future of the Museum of Belize looks bright. Well, much brighter than its recent past. As a board, you know, we were definitely a bit saddened to see the lack of maintenance of our museums, our houses of culture, and archaeological sites over the years. But we must note that the board is committed to repair, conserve, and preserve all of our national treasures. And this is a great example starting here today. I want to invite you to this exhibit here. And I want you to let yourself, let your spirit flow into the beating of the drums, the washing of the waves, the kaleidoscope of colors, the swishing of the brushes, the seduction of the stories, the curve of the canvases, the jitters of the journeys, and most importantly, the sexiness of the spirit. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.